Mike, I know you guys took it as a big challenge with Kenneth Walker coming in here, leading the nation in rushing and everything, and it seemed like you guys just did a terrific job of keeping him bottled up. Uh, so I know Coach Allen mentioned something more about scheme, about trying to keep him uh, in, in tight little spaces. But it seemed like what you wanted, you guys wanted to do with him, uh, you were able to pretty much do the whole way, right? Yeah, no, um, I think they kind of switched up. They weren't attacking our perimeter as much, and they were trying to hit it uh, kind of inside the tackles. So I think our, our D-line did a great job knocking their O-line back and, and playing gaps, and then everybody else did their job flying to the ball and fitting their gaps. So it looked pretty good out of everybody. Uh, same question I just asked, Monster. What do you guys think you did well, not just you know being able to stop the run, but also making sure that you weren't getting beat deep because you were so focused on the run? Yeah, um, I think we did a good job, you know, rotating safeties down where we need to, and, and they did a good job fitting. But then, you know, the guys who were in coverage had their eyes on their coverage, and they weren't letting you know anything cheap get behind them, and you know, no trick play or anything. Really, I mean, they had that that you know reverse pass or whatever. But you know, I think guys were covering them and stuff. So. Um, uh, you know, everybody did a good job, I think. Yeah, Mike, as one of the leaders on the team, how are you trying to maybe keep guys together through this? You know, it's been a lot of close games and some frustration. Yeah, no, I mean, football's a team game. You know, everybody's responsible when something like this happens. There's, uh, there's no point in fingers or anything like that. So everybody in the locker room has to stay together. And, you know, it's definitely difficult at a time like this. But, you know, that's like you said, that's when leadership comes in and, you know, uh, captains step up and, and uh, say what they need to say when they need to say it. Yeah, Mike, uh, Coach mentioned that reverse pass. I mean, based on where you were on that play, were you stunned that they were able to get that completed? Yeah, no, I didn't. Uh, I honestly thought I hit his arm when he threw the ball, so I, d I didn't really know the ball got all the way down there. And then once I turned around, I honestly saw him get his foot down. So I was like, if they review this, it's going to be a catch. So I think I kind of I had an idea. I guess, to what extent, as a defense, do you almost kind of tell yourselves if, if we have to, we're going to become a team that, that can win low-scoring games, that can create even more turnovers, more sacks, more whatever? I mean, just to, in terms of sort of saying if, if this is what needs to be done, do you think your unit is basically capable of doing is essentially what I'm asking for given? Yeah, no, I think we're definitely capable of doing it. Um, you know, you got to win the turnover battle, and, and we didn't today. We had an opportunity on that fumble down there, but – <coughs> Noah Pierre did a great job. Uh, Josh Sanguinetti with both their interceptions. So I think we're definitely capable. It's just about guys continuing to, to do their job and, and fly to the ball and, and get those those takeaways when they come. Mike, you mentioned Noah. Just talk about the job he's done. I mean, he got, he got a tough penalty there, but had a big interception. You guys put the corners on islands a lot today so you can get, uh, be up there to stop the run. Just, I mean, I think a few weeks ago he wasn't even playing cornerback. I, I mean, just the job he's done to switch over there and basically play like a guy who's played there you know, all year. No, you're right. I mean, he hasn't played cornerback, I think, at all, really his entire career here. He's switched around many positions, but, I mean, every every position he's put out, he plays extremely hard and extremely competitive. And, you know, I love that guy for that. And even on special teams, that guy he gives all out effort, and, and, you know, you just wouldn't expect him for all, all that he does for this team. Appreciate it, guys.